As an innovator and as a pioneer in hair care, my sister and I had the opportunity to see this business evolve. Uh, during a time when there were no Miss Jessies on the Target's shelves or Walmart shelves, it was Titi and I that took to our kitchen table and created concoctions that would really help women, primarily women, but now it's men and, and babies, uh, care for their hair. You see, this customer was willing to spend a higher price tag to uh, purchase the products that really mattered to her and that gave her the results. So failure for the entrepreneur is inevitable. It's something that you'll experience, uh, challenge, hardship. Failure for, for me, um, in partnership with my sister, was probably the best thing that ever happened to us. Had we not experienced failure, we wouldn't have had to have thought outside the box to come up with a new solution to become the brand that we are today. Our business memoir is an important one because the book talks about how we built our business from scratch. We had no loans, we had no angel investors, but with our God-given talent and with our partnership, we were actually able to become pioneers and to be able to put a price tag with that thing that you love or that thing that you're good at is a wonderful combination. And I think hearing our story is gonna really help women to uh, be their own bosses, but also encourage women to do what they love. I think we're gonna see a lot more happier female entrepreneurs out here. My family inspires me tremendously. I was fortunate enough to have a few family members that have played a key role in my development. Uh, my grandmother, Jessie Mae Branch, was the first CEO that I'd ever seen. I had an opportunity to sit around her at her kitchen table and watch her delegate, but watch her create things from scratch. But I was able to get the tutelage that she offered me with love, with kindness, and with all of the best intentions and I, I, I do believe with that partnership, I'm able to be a better woman in business.